Aloha, I'm Chris O'Connor and I would like to welcome you to the Deems family. In this video, I would like to discuss with you how to use the Deems device, both with and without the seven healing crystal heads, or whether you're using it on yourself, or you're using it as a practitioner of holistic medicine or as a spiritual light worker. But before we get into the nuts and bolts of how to use the device, there's some important information you must know prior to using the Deems device. The Deems device is a truly powerful magnetic device and I cannot emphasize enough the possible dangers associated with using such powerful magnets. If allowed to come near one to the other, these magnets can fly several inches and slam together and can easily be shattered, causing injury to yourself or those nearby. So always handle them with extreme caution and definitely read the warnings and suggestions included with your purchase. But why all the cautionary warnings? Well, neodymium magnets are the strongest magnets in the world. But what makes them so strong is that neodymium has a high level of magnetic saturation, meaning that neodymium loves to be magnetized and it soaks in as much magnetization as it can possibly hold, which is considerably more than all other known commercially used metals. This in turn creates a much larger, more powerful magnetic field. This is what makes them so well suited to magnetic therapy. Also, neodymium has a high resistance to demagnetization, also known as coercivity. Once neodymium magnets are magnetized, they like to stay magnetized and they won't lose magnetic power over time and can work for many, many years. So how do you use the device? It's actually a very simple to use device and you can use either side of the device depending upon what your energy body needs in the moment. And that can change from moment to moment, which is why the more intuitive you are, the better the device works. Envision with me the southern pole of the magnets, which are pulling energy in through the center of the magnet, and the northern side is pushing that energy in a vortex towards you. The southern pole can draw unwanted energy away from your body, and the northern pole gently pushes energy into your body. Each side has its benefits, and the more you use the device, the more sensitive you'll become to its uses. Speaking for myself, I find that working with the existing flow of earth and universal energy, which is naturally flowing into me from my feet and my groin upwards into my body and exiting the northern side of my body, the head and shoulders. But it also flows in through the hand, especially the hand and the upper arm area and shoulder. And we can take that natural flow of vortex energy and we can amplify it dramatically and increase that flow, providing an extra energy for my own body to balance and heal itself. Or I can connect with another person and assist their higher self and energy body to balance and heal itself. As you see, I'm placing the northern side, which is the vortex side of the magnet in the palm of my hand. This uses the ambient earth and universal energies and its natural flow into the left side of my body, especially if, as I said, the left hand and it amplifies that flow, sending this healing energy into the energy body, which uses this energy for balancing and healing. The same can be done for the right side of the body and the right hand by drawing out unused or unwanted energy within the body, and it draws new clear energy into the body from the left side. As a practitioner, you can use this technique by placing the device in your own hands drawing energy either into or out of your patient through your own energy body, assisting and balancing and healing. If you're using the Deems device for pain relief, simply wave it back and forth or in small circles, an inch or two above your hand or whatever part of the body you're working. You can even touch yourself, that's okay. What you're doing is if you're experiencing a discomfort somewhere, you may find that it will immediately alleviate that pain or you may have to use it for several minutes, up to 30 minutes or an hour. But when you first begin, continue this movement for five to 10 minutes and then set the device aside, check in with yourself and see how you feel. As I said, most people feel an instant temporary relief of pain. But if your pain returns, of course, you know, you can use the device, you know, as many times as you like, not to exceed about an hour a day, as I said. And this works for relieving the body of inflammation as well. And it can be used indefinitely if needed. If you're using the Deems device for energy balancing with the universal ring magnet only, I recommend that you begin the, with the root chakra and work your way up and spend a couple of seconds on each chakra and work your way all the way up 
to the crown. And once you've done that, see how your body feels. Focus your attention on each chakra as you go, feeling it activate and gently vibrate. And flip the device over from one side to the other, of course, <laughs> not in the end. Uh, but flip the device from one side to the other, checking in with each chakra again or energy center. If it feels more comfortable to aim the device in that direction, then repeat the process beginning again with the root chakra. But this time spend two to six minutes on each chakra without exceeding about an hour a day. If you're using the Dings device on a client, then follow these same steps as I mentioned. Check in with your client, asking them which side of the magnet feels more comfortable, and then repeat the process using that side of the magnet. You may even find that one chakra wants to have energy drawn out, and another one's focused inward energy. And, and it will likely be different each time you use the device, and this is where your intuition begins to come into balance with the device. As a practitioner of holistic healing, pain relief, Reiki, acupuncture, or any other shamanic practices and spiritual light working, I recommend that you begin slowly. Use the device on your clients for a couple of hours a day and try not to exceed more than a few hours, you know, at least a day at the beginning to see how you feel. The reason is that the powerful magnetic forces can overstimulate your personal energy field. If you find yourself amped up and unable to relax or sleep, Cut down on the time you use the team's device, either on yourself or others, until you're able to come into a more natural balance with it and you know how many hours a day you're able to work with the device. As I stated earlier, the Deems device is highly intuitive and it can come into balance with you as much as you can come into balance with it. Now, this may take a little bit of time or you may come into balance with it instantaneously. It's all about you and where you are on your journey. It's also possible that when you begin using the Dean's device that you or your clients might feel anxious, upset, sad, or even angry. This is actually a positive response and an indication that the device is drawing out emotional blockages, unwanted energy, and it's assisting your body and neurological pathways in ridding itself of unwanted emotions such as decades old anger and grief, you know, allowing your body to clear them away and begin the healing process. If this happens to you, allow the emotions to flow through you. Don't deny them or block them from emerging. What's happening is that your energy centers are flowing and this is the desired effect which we work to obtain. Send yourself love and light. Send those emotions love and light and thank them for their service, but reject them as unwanted and request that they leave you. If you accept and love the emotions you experience, they will flow through you and out of you forever. If you're using the Deems device with the seven healing crystal heads, whether on yourself or someone else, begin with the crystal which corresponds to the energy center or chakra or meridian of the body part which you seek to heal, clear, and balance. For example, if you want to clear and balance the throat chakra, which is associated with blue, you would add this beautiful piece of lapis lazuli. You would just place it there in one direction or try the other direction see what feels more comfortable with you and what happens is that you can switch this out very quickly and very easily this is a new design by the way each magnet actually has rather each crystal actually has four micro magnets within it that holds it to the northern pole so you're always going to receive the vortex site through the crystal it won't stay on the southern pole, as you can see. You use the crystal of the body part you want to balance and work with, and this would be a grounding. This is a red jasper. And do what you can with it. Learn from it, experiment with it, and all of the different crystals. And let me know what you think, because I'm learning what this does just as well as you are. You'll find downloadable PDF files to precautions and warnings in using the Dean's device diagrams of the body's acupuncture and acupressure points, 
the locations of the chakras and meridians within the body, and other useful information, including a transcript of this video, on our website, www.lightlovemedia.com. Simply visit our site and scroll down to the section Downloadable Deems Data Materials. There you'll be able to click on the links and download your very own copies. For comments and questions, you can either visit lightlovemedia.com or email us at deemsdevice at gmail.com. I'm Chris O'Connor, and it's my great honor to be of service to you. Mahalo, and thank you, and aloha.